Hi, I'm Kevin and today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Crisis Photo Real Mod 4 from Crisis X. First we are installing a fresh copy of Crisis. We are going to skip uh, the installation part as this is kind of taking too much. So here we just install it. I'll show you the link for the Kryzen X Photorealm 4 mod. This is the link. I'm not going to download it because I already have downloaded it. You can also go to Kryzen X video for this link. So we are going to extract uh, the mod with the 7 zip. This is going to take a bit of time. Enjoy the music during that. Ok, so we have extracted the entire folder, we are going to go to steam folder location, for this click on properties, go to local files and browse local files. Before we go to replacing the entire stuff, we have to enable the show hidden folders so from my computer you go to view options change folder and search options click again on view and just uh, hit the show hidden files folders and drivers going to click apply I will show you later what uh, this is for. Also, you are not going to miss any files when you replace them. So, open the two windows. We're going to replace manually everything. Before you do this, you, if you want, you can back up the entire folders. From the Steam version. I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to install the game. If I want to everything to be clean again. You can also use Ctrl A to select the entire files and Ctrl V to paste. So we are doing this manually. As you see, we didn't have a bin64 folder. We are just going to paste that. A lot, a lot of stuff here in editor. Most of this looks the same, but I'm still uh, going to replace it. And this, the, I'm doing this uh, manually, not replacing the entire folders. Because I don't want to skip anything. Oh, 
Also by doing this I know what I replaced. Going to objects. As I said uh, you can use uh, Ctrl V to paste. still have a few stuff here Copying an entire stuff here, just paste it. Always be sure to click the replace all. Let's uh, see what we have in the config file. We are going to replace the files in the first folder. All the GPU stuff is just some info here. Here in a crisis tutorial, he said to rename this to one. I think you can just uh, replace the entire stuff or delete it if you don't need this folder. It will save you some space. Okay, copying the other folders. As you see, he has uh, some new folders here for uh, shaders and everything else. You can see some of the hidden files here. Okay, we have just these two configurable files left. Also now. Uh, I show you what I enable uh, hidden folders for. We have to search for uh, this DXGI uh, DLL. Go to our uh, C folder, Windows, System uh, 32. I'm going to search for it copy this one from our windows and just paste it in bin 42 folder this is uh, just for windows 10 users also if you want uh, the players to shoot in you you have to delete this 
zip patch one, not the double zip patch one. This one. So everything looks okay. Just don't close this folder yet. Because the uh, Steam version has some problems with starting the game. I also have a video how to, how to replace the files. Also copy the photo real first in levels. No, I don't know if it will work from custom map folder. Copy the name for later to paste it in the game. So I have a video how to replace the fix crisis with crisis warhead. We're not going to do that because uh, Kryzen X already had a 64 bin folder. As you see, the game on launch. If you have a GOG version, nasty one, is better because they have uh, all the updates. So we are just waiting. Okay, so it didn't work. We're going again to Crisis folder. We're going to install the DirectX C. First, we're going to install this Punkbuster service. Just click next. I agree. Gain uh, next to test it. We see a bit of error there. It said no, but uh, everything is working. Complete without error. <laughs> So now install the DirectX 9C. Just going to click accept here. Okay, we also have a uh, this VC credits. I'm not going to install that uh, game spy comrade. It's creating even more problems. So you'll see that the uh, game still doesn't load. We're going again to the bin64 folder. Trying the first crisis.exe. That's my antivirus there. Maybe he is blocking some stuff, but I don't think so. Try the Crisis 64.exe. You'll see it's still not working, but uh, if we go again to Crisis folder, bin 42, just launch it from here. You'll see that the uh, game will load now without any problems. Okay, so it's loading. See the EA 
game's logo. Click the key under the escape key on the keyboard. The first key before one. Type uh, cone underline restricted uh, equal zero. Okay. Type map. Can click paste now. Photorel even. It's Photorel four. We are just going to wait for the map to load now. Still some errors here, but everything will work just fine. Let's uh, customize the weapon first. As you see, we have a splendid sunshine there. Look at this map. Cook engaged. It's absolutely beautiful. This is how Crisis 1 should have looked Maximum in the first speed. place. Maximum strength. Have all these chickens running around, these beautiful turtles here. You can see my shadow there. Look at that water. It's looking just beautiful, splendid. Going to chop this tree. So, this map is spectacular. Everything about it the sun, the water, it's uh, just amazing. All credits go, like I said, to Chrysonex, who created this mode. Hope you'll be able to install this as it isn't very hard. Also, check uh, the crisis fix with the uh, warhead video if it doesn't work. Hope you like the video. You can leave a comment in the section and uh, hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Bye for now. See you on next video.